It is the big day here at the Sri Hari Kota Satish Dhawan Space Center. We are at the media hall. Just then, less than two hours left for the launch of Chandrayaan 3, India's big lunar mission right after following Chandrayaan 2. Now, the weather here is pleasant and sunny. Perfect day for the launch. Uh, the, and according to what the sources here, we are, what we are getting to know is that the launch will go as per schedule. And yes, as you can see, as you can hear the, informa uh, the information, the radio information is going on. That's that schedule is that rocket will be launched as per scheduled. And just to give you an idea of what this mission is all about, ISRO has stated that there are three three major objectives for this mission. One is to demonstrate a soft landing on the lunar surface. Remember, this was also the main objective during the Chandrayaan 2 mission, but that couldn't take place because ISRO lost connection with the lander just before landing and second objective for this mission is that to demonstrate the movement of the rover on the moon surface and the third one was to perform obviously to perform scientific experiments on the moon remember the uh, chandrayaan 1 was successful in finding water molecules on the moon surface but chandrayaan 2 which, which was, whose aim was to uh, maybe do more experiments on this couldn't do that but chandrayaan 3 scientists isr scientists are hopeful that uh, this chandrayaan 3 would be able to do that this time around uh, as of now we can see the media i'll just give you a sh just show you around what is happening here it is this is the media hall journalists are, will be set will be seated here uh, for the launch and we have just around uh, under two hours left for the launch so journalists are just settling in down so we are yet to get more details about what is going to happen but definitely as of now the schedule uh, uh, Chandrayaan 3 will be launched as per, as, as per schedule time which is 2.30 p.m. in fact uh, Narendra Modi India, the Prime Minister of India had uh, put out a tweet earlier this day stating that this is a proud moment for the entire science fraternity in India and July 14th will be etched in the memory of everybody in ISRO. We will be coming back to you with more inputs. Thank you, that's all for now.